Welcome to EdTech Tuesday. I'm Jennifer Gibson. And I'm Rich Dixon. Okay, Rich, I have never heard of this site before. Yeah, it's Tell called EduCanon. Okay. It's a free resource that allows teachers to grab links to videos. Hold on uh, to this. Ah, okay, okay. Embed questions and comprehension checks mm. into those videos so that learning is more meaningful and the videos attend to just what you need to and teach. And more interactive. Very I interactive. I love that. Let's it check is. it out. All right, well, first of all, it's free. I already have an account, so I'm gonna click login, but if you don't, don't forget to scroll down and click sign up. Okay. Okay, so we're inside of EduCanon. Yes. And one of the things to point out is that your students can join your particular set of videos that have been collected and okay, curated. Okay, but I don't get it. Bulb? A bulb is a video that you've curated and then annotated or developed questions around. So, Rich, I'm noticing there's a search code, and we've noticed a lot of companies doing this, and really this is about student privacy and protecting students. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's dive in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to explore this a little bit more. So you can paste content from any one of these different video sources. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at YouTube, but you could choose others. You can find these videos within a particular channel. I'm going to look within education. Okay. And in particular, I'm going to look for Oh, I like your brain on, on extreme weather. That's always fun. Sure. We could <laughs> grab that one. Let's go ahead and click on it. And inside of here, I'm just going to copy Is the, the link. Weather getting straight out of there, and then I'm going to paste that web page address okay. or URL here. Alrighty. I'm going to enter a title for it, and I'm going to put Extreme Weather. And I can list a particular learning objective here. Right. Um, I'm just going to put Earth Science just generically, but you might have a specific standard that you're attending to. I can select the grade, hmm. and I'm going to select that range okay. in there. There are a particular topic, science, if I have a subtopic that I want to list as well. Right, there's an environment right yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. When I'm done, I'm going to click on this right here, which is this green button. And oh. it's going to import now, this video. Now, can you crop out the advertisements that are on YouTube? Yes. This Yay, wonderful crop I love it. tool okay. right here allows you to do that. Now, this particular video doesn't have an ad at the beginning here. Right. But let's just fast forward here for the sake of time. I may want to embed in this particular point in the video yeah. a comprehension check, okay. a question. Oh, so, so I'm right going to click there. on Add Question. Okay. And over here, I get wow. to just choose whether it's multiple choice, check all that apply, uh, just even have a spot for them to stop and have a, what they call a reflective pause, uh -huh. or even free response. I have to say that EduCanon has three different levels of membership. There's free, which is what we're showing you today, okay. but then there's also a school version and then there's a pro account. If you want the premium version, which allows for free response and other options, you need to pay $90 a year. Okay, that's a little steep. It is a little bit. Yeah. This institutional price or what it would cost yeah. for a school to purchase this is right around $900 to $1,000. For the entire building. Mm -hmm. You know what though, I think there's a lot you can do with the free version and if this becomes a successful tool, your school or district might want to consider that. Let's take a look real quickly at a multiple choice question. So after I've created a question and some responses and whatnot, mm -hmm. I can go ahead and I can save this. And what's going to be nice about this? But after that one desiccating summer, 66% said they've been seeing worse. Is that I will have a little marker over here on the left. And I what's nice that. about that is that I can know predictively exactly when that question is going to hit. And that's letting the students know as well. Yes. One of the things that I really do think is wonderful about this as well mm. is let's say that I've dropped that marker in the wrong spot. For mm -hmm. example, when I pause the video, I needed to go back and watch it right. and refine my question. Right. I can go back and I can move oh, this and little marker it. and I can just update it really easily. So I think it's really nice that way. Now, let's take a look at a couple other tools. There's the assign tool. So I can assign uh, to a particular class. So when a class logs in using that class code, they can see what's assigned on which day for and which one day. to watch. Great for flipping the classroom. Excellent for that. Mm -hmm. And then I can get a view of bolts, all the different videos that I've worked on. And I can also monitor engagement. So for example, the one that I created yes. yesterday and watched through is on magnetism. And I can get information about that particular uh, lesson there. I can delete wow. that class and keep it. So That's what's wonderful. really nice is that when it's done, it uh -huh. actually keeps track of student progress. So formative assessments being, oh wow. Exactly, That's and then great. I can download that information. And so in summary, I think EduCanon is a wonderful way to be able to help facilitate things like Flip Classroom, yes. individualized and personalized learning, and it's free, at least the starter pack. And so. it looks like you just need to check it out and see what works for your own integration.